many things in here, but I, I feel like, um, I've done a lot of these before, but I feel like maybe the mood calls for this one, and then I'll do a new piece on top of that. All right. It's called Hate a Love Poem. <laughs> I've decided to relinquish the rest of the year to heartache. 2006 worked hard and deserves it. So please think of England when you close your eyes, because the debt of grief and mine is about to pay you final notice. I'm getting you off of my chest like dead weight. I'm getting you out of my system like the lithium you need to get into yours. Mm. Even if you owe me nothing, your nothingness owns me. Mm. The last time we ever slept together felt like it would be, it was a great birthday present, thank you. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> your sex is a broken slot machine that will never change. It's as intimate as a business card. Loving you is a casino where sad people spend time waiting for kings to show up. Buying into you was a supermarket of regrets. Heartbreaking is a habit you were never broken of. You're one internet cafe away from the truth. You've got more secrets than cells have stems. I sit in fast food bathrooms just to remember your smell. I get cheap, cheap manicures just to rekindle your touch. I know your back better than your own shadow. My fist thinks you're ugly and would tell you to your fucking face. I'd sleep with your friends if you had any. I'm not even angry yet, just scared to tell you how I really feel. I'm a death threat tied to a rock, thrown through the window of your opportunities. In the spectrum of my infinity, you are an all-time black. Your guilt's so heavy you could tie a noose and hang your conscience from it. You led my legs on, invited my insecurities over for the holidays. Why don't you do your future children a favor by not having them? Oh. I'd sooner end your life than this poem. Why don't you make me? I'd like to see you try. In general. <laughs> I'm not jealous of your new lover. She's just another ring in your dead tree stump. Now she can enjoy you, little yard sale. She gets to wear my mother's old clothes. She gets to rummage around in my hand-me-downs, like I did in the bargain racks before me. You put the you back in. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Angry. It's not getting angry anymore. Okay, it's all over. It's all over now. Shh. I'm holding myself on the inside. <laughs> it's a poem called Strange. It starts with a quote by Jack Hirschman. The death that was coming had come between us always. Los Angeles has that Pluto-sized hotel room on Beverly and the street with your middle name. This is where you first handed me your music in a Walkman, flicked off my light switch eyes, and we camped out in each other's hair. You fogged the letters of question on the back of my neck with your breath. Your knuckles rustled through waist bends of my waist skin till you found the thing that had been ticking, pumping like a trout's mouth or the belly button of an Olympian. In Denver, my grandmother slipped out of the history race, and I cried you a country of the heart's commandments. Jimbo's lullaby by W.C. guided the customs of our thumbs through the borders of our insecurities. In twilight, I lit you up. We kissed to ensure survival. Hmm. My fingernails scaled the rocks in your back. My blue hair fell about your face. Velvet curtains of the magician's bedroom and into each other's bodies. We learned how to disappear. Hmm. In London, we ran the streets lost in each other's sleeves. Laughing at, laughing at toothless statues and stealing hairs from each other's jackets for shrines. You screamed up, I dare you, Cloud! 
as it burst into tears above us. We swam into an elevator that sneezed, blowing us into our room, the smell of the year thick as turpentine, falling from the ceiling in the sand of your neck. I buried my head, afraid of what was climbing. My heart pulled herself up from the air ropes, reached the back molars and shouted out, I do, I do, I do love you. It came out as a whisper, as a tiny thing you could break like bread and into a serious moment. Your lips skipped with me. In New England, at your mother's vacation home, I left my silver slip-ons by the sea where you wound me like rotary. Into a back room we dipped, out of my slip and into my slit you slid. The sex had begun to stab, bleeding us strange. I lay there in your arms, an orchid in the trenches. Under a sand we stumbled. Asphyxiated by gaze, you knew how to make the alphabet shy. You let it stand on your feet and dance with you like a daughter. In and out, a tongue, a pink teenager, you went as a boy with an ice cream in August under my black and gray striped dress that shed a thousand stories around your hips like candle wax. We came and the ocean came on us. Together, we fetched the universe and threw it back again. The afternoon sky shook, a fat nebulous neck crying warning into our laughter. New York City couldn't take its eyes off our getting off. <laughs> On the 52nd floor, up against the glass, emptying our dirty dishes into each other. You counted the ribs, beat the concerto out of them, again and against, again and against, as the rain too pounded us, 52 stories into the blue, our skeletons, counting unspoken stacks of hazardous, hazardous feelings, arbitrary calculations, Thunder stu struck and stuck to glass like ponytails, hanging on long legged structures, standing hard around us. A maid walked in on us. We were in love and so laughed, kept going, wrapped in a white curtain, naked and wet as two Mississippi mummies burying each other alive. Strange how you always had some place to be, something to be. Some claim to see. Strange in the Catskills, your eyes grew seismic at the sight of it. Me, rolling around on the hardwood by your black velcros, knowing you didn't have a kitten anymore, but a wolf in woman's clothing. Strange in Japan. Your shoulders began to close like hard covers. I could only read your spine, fading and dismissive. Strange, walking around your house in my yellow sundress. That final summer, you started shifting the weight, smoking like a fish, finding the enemy in everything I did. Hmm. Your friends watched me, ellipses in their eyes, heads bowed to honor your next bold move. Strange how you charged me with infidelity while in the night your secret spun webs in the corners of your kitchen. I could smell her naked night swimming in your sweat. You always knew how to make the best beginnings. Hmm.